it's a new challenge. I think when you're driving, uh, when there's less traffic, it's amazing with all the corners like Arrabiata, uh, especially in the LMP2 with the downfalls. Uh, it's a corner that you really enjoy when you go and this is, feels really nice to be driving in this track. But then again, it has its challenges when it comes to traffic. Uh, it's not so easy just because of the nature of the track. There's so many corners that goes flowing and high speed. That is going to be a challenge for the race, but uh, I'm looking forward to this and it's going to be fun. Especially it's going to be a place where you can gain a lot of time, but at the same time you might get unlucky and lose some time. But this is what adds uh, to the timing of these races where you have different uh, uh, categories racing all at once, so it's good. That's a very nice track, I mean, very fast track as well, so high, highly um, downforce dependent. The P3 cars are really nice to drive around here especially. Um, and yeah, just a very fast flowing track, which I like. I think the fact that it's a new track for the calendar makes it a bit more challenging for everybody else, us included, and yeah, the challenge is a nice aspect to the championship and hopefully we make the most of it. Um, I think sector two is very nice because it's obviously you've got the elevation changes and all the high speed corners, which in a high downforce car is nice to drive. The circuit's mega. Um, obviously the views around it are also really awesome. It's very technical, it's actually probably one of the hardest tracks we've been to. Um, it's not very forgiving, it's fairly tight, uh, similar to Imola in Titleist. Um, as undulated as Spa, so no, it's a real challenge. Um, so it's a good job we got some testing to try and get to grips with it. <laughs> I'm quicker in Sector 1 than I am in 2 and 3, so at the moment I prefer Sector 1. Um, you know, I mean, I enjoy driving on all types of circuits, around all types of corners, but Ultimately, I just want to be fast around all of them. The two fast rights, and I, I mean, they're, they're mega. Um, you have to really rely on the aero around here um, on them. So, you know, but here it's all about maintaining speed through the corners. Um, you have to carry so much speed through and there's very little room for error. So that's the, that's the tricky part and trying to build up to it. Places like Spa and the like, you can push the limits a little bit more because there's so much runoff area, whereas here you've got to take a bit more of a sensible approach and just build up to it, so it takes a little bit longer. Well, this is my favorite track, I think, of all. Of any track I've been in is my favorite, uh, and it's actually a really nice combo with the LMP2 because of the of all, all of the downforce the car has uh, and the kind of track it is with a lot of fast corners. It's just, I think, is the, the best place to really um, take the most out of this this type of cars. I feel like it's Mugello is kind of a flowy track. It's really uh, on a league of its own, I would say, because uh, there's no really hard braking, super slow corners. The, the speed is always quite high. And uh, really, the, the kind of corners here are all pretty much the same. But I feel, I feel like the most famous sector and uh, uh, where the most famous corners are is sector two, which is also, I feel like, where you really enjoyed most the, the, the P2 car. Uh, and I think also physically it will be a tough race because there's uh, a lot of cast corners, uh, a lot of Gs on our neck. And, uh, you know, it's uh, on, on four hour races where you always push like crazy and you're fighting for the last tenth for four hours straight. Uh, I think it's going to be another key factor on Sunday. <laughs>